Hello people of YouTube, welcome to a new type of video. Uh, this is Wisteria, which is also in Roblox. Uh, lately we just did Grand Peace Online. Maybe we might do more of that if, you know, something different happens. Probably Devil Fruits. But uh, now we're in Wisteria, which is a game about Demon Slayer. And, well, today we're going to be showcasing the sound breathing style. So, first things first, you have to find the guy. So I'm going to go to the starter village, and we'll start there. Okay, now that we're here at the starter village, I can actually show you where to go. So, once you start here, you would just go straight. Also, by the way, if you know where it is, we're going to the blacksmith. So if you already know where that is, you can just skip ahead to go there. Now, uh, there is a demon after me, so that's going to be annoying. Okay, so um, I was just told by a demon that they actually nerfed sound breathing for some reason. But anyway, you just got to follow this road to go to the blacksmith. Once you get to the farm, you can switch to the left. So, that's going to be cool. That guy, uh, you know, demons are so overpowered in this game. Like, <laughs> they're basically immortal if they just stay in a fight until the sun comes out. But even then they have an umbrella. Super hard to fight them. Also, he told me they nerfed sound. I uh, All the abilities are the same, so maybe just damage is different. But anyway, once you get here, before you go down the hill, there's little rocks just go in between them. You should see this weird looking messed up tree branch tingy. Just keep going straight straight to the mountains. There is a broken log right there, another stuck out log. Uh, this is also just to the left of the farmhouse is where the mission is. You can also find the beast breathing trainer over there. Now, if you don't know how to wall jump slash wall climb, there are stairs up here. But if you do know how to wall climb, then you could just do that. All you have to do to wall climb is hold E, keep spamming space bar and looking down. And you can also look up and press Q to, uh, you know, boost further, dash, whatever it's called. But there is also a stairway up, and then you just want to go over the rocks here. <clears throat> Alright. Now that we're here at the blacksmith, finally, uh, for you it's probably not that long, but for me it, it took a while. But anyway, you just keep going straight, and to the left, there's a little cave here. And then here's the sound trainer. Obviously, you're going to have to talk to him to get all the abilities and fight him. I already have them maxed out, so I can't really show that. But, uh... Anyway. Welcome to Wisteria! <laughs> okay, well, I've showed you where the guy is at now, so let's just... Let's just show off the moves, okay? We can do that now. I have not tried to fight that guy once. But here we are. So, let me just go to a, a safe, safer place. Say, like, right over here. On top of this hill. It's becoming nighttime, so that may or may not be good. But, uh, anyway. As for the first move... Oh, wait, hold on. So when you talk to the sound trainer and beat him, you get this old Ninchurin, or I don't think you have to beat him, but you get this Ninchurin, it is a white Ninchurin. Um, so, when you beat him the first time, the first move you get will be called Roar. With Roar, it creates a big explosion around yourself, and uh, yeah, it's pretty close range, and honestly it's not very useful unless you're getting stuck into a combo, or want to get out of a block or something like that. The second move you'll get is Forward Reaver. It launches a little, like... It launches an explosion at them, okay? Well, so when you launch it, just... Uh, an explosion. It is good for range. So if you're fighting another player, or you want to get a, like a hit off on AI, then when you're far away, you can just free hit, and they can't really do much about it. Now the second ability, the third ability, I mean, is probably the best ability in my opinion. It is called Constant Resounding Slashes. This ability creates multiple explosions all around you and uh, is very powerful and I'm not sure if you can block it. So that's really cool in my opinion. 
Now the next thing is string performance. This is the very last ability you'll get. And this is pretty laggy, but it will launch you forward, creating explosions and a straight line from wherever you're looking. And it does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure it's an instant block break as well, at least it used to be. So if I can just do it again, and maybe it won't lag this time. That's better, yeah. So those are all the abilities. Now, let's use it in a fight. Okay, sorry about the, all that. I had to join a different server, because the demons on that server were spawn camping the spawn, and another one was just absolutely killing everybody. And I'm max rank as a demon slayer, and I just have to say that demons are super OP. I've I've killed, I think, two player demons, and I fought one for two whole day-night cycles when either was dying. Uh, but they were like a weak demon, so, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It sucks. But anyway, now we can actually showcase the moves in a fight. So the f first move I'm going to use, forward reverb. Uh, I missed. Did I miss? I think I might have hit him. Anyway, obviously he's going to block all that. He's going to give me a combo. I just break out of it with the first move. Pretty easy. Third move, just hits everything, and it probably... Probably not blockable, but I don't actually know. So just one more combo to get him back. And then string performance. I'm not sure if that did a lot of damage. I don't think all of them hit them no matter what. So uh, forward reverb, that hit actually. I wasn't expecting it to. And that gets me out of the combo, and they are dead. It is a pretty fast killer. But then again, I'm saying that when I'm max level with most of my things maxed out. So... I mean, maybe, maybe not. But that is just how I would use it in a fight, and it is pretty cool. Other than that, though, that is going to be it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed and actually learned something out of it, because this making videos in Wisteria is the hardest game I've had to make videos on because of other players, and because it's hard to show off things in the middle of a fight in this game. Although I do love this game, and it is great. It's probably one of the best Roblox games ever made, in my opinion. Uh, not because of gameplay, though. But anyway, uh, enough about that. And, you know, hope you if you did like the video, turn that gray thumbs up blue by clicking it. Also, if that subscribe button's still red, might want to click and turn it gray. After all, gray is better color than red. Well, I don't know about that. But anyway, bye!